الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على النبي المصطفى سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope every brother of mine and every sister of mine is well is well and in good health and those who are not well I make dua for you for shifa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you shifa and kamila Now, today we are discussing insha'Allah Uh, a very very important topic which is al ikhlas sincerity now we are discussing sincerity now uh, sincerity uh, is something very very is an aspect of deen which is very much important anything that we do we should do with sincerity we check the intention rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said innama al a'malu bin niyat that actions actions are by intention actions are by intentions now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he looks at the intention of the person if your intention is correct then your deed will be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inna anzalna ilayka al kitab bil haqq to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we have sent to you we have revealed sent down to you al kitab the book which is the Quran now bil haqq in truth and he said fa'budu fa'budillaha mukhlisan lahu din so worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mukhlisan bin sincere bin sincere lahu din in religion now so we are here in this dunya to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we need to bring sincerity in our worship in our ibadah we need to check from the beginning of the deed Is this deed going to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or not? If it is going to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we should carry on doing it. Now, and after we have started, you know, executing, you know, uh, 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 doing whatever we are doing, then we have to check if my intention is still correct or not. If my intention is still correct or not. If my intention uh, has changed, shaitan has You know, spoiled my intention. I should correct the intention immediately. Come back to the pleasure of Allah, to please Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And at the end, also of our deeds, of our actions, you know, we should check if we uh, had done until the end for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala or not. Now, if we did not do for the sake of Allah, it was for the sake of fame. We need to make tawbah. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness and we change our intention. We have to check our intention. Now, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ بِالْحَقِّ فَعَبُدِ اللَّهِ مُخْلِصًا لَهُ الدِّينِ أَلَا لِلَّهِ الدِّينُ الْخَالِصِ Now, to Allah, verily, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belongs the complete deen. Now, so also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, he teaches us in the Quran, speak about Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Indeed my salah, say O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that my salah, إِنَّ صَلَاتِي Indeed my salah, وَنُسُكِي and my sacrifice. Now, my sacrifice. وَمَحْيَايَ and my life. My entire life. وَمَمَاتِي and my death لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is for the sake and the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ the Lord of the entire universe نعم so your life should be for the sake of Allah you are alive to worship Allah نعم so your life is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Your death should be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Naam? And when it comes to anything that we do, including slaughtering, including slaughtering animals, naam? we should slaughter in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it should be for the pleasure of Allah. It should be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because if we slaughter for other purposes, you know, With a wrong intention, you find people slaughtering for their dead people, you know, for their ancestors or in the name of their ancestors. So that slaughtering for us becomes haram. The meat becomes haram. We cannot eat 
that from that meat. Why? Because the animal was slaughtered not in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the intention was to offer that sacrifice to, 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 to the false gods, you know, to the statues or to the dead people. Naam? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Qul, inna salati, say, uh, indeed my salah, my prayer is for Allah. Naam? Wa nusuki, my sacrifice is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa mahyaya, my life is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa mamati, my death is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La sharika lah, without ascribing any partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Naam, ha? And he says, uh, 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 La sharika lah. وَبِذَلِكَ أُمِرْتُ وَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And like that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded me to do everything for his sakes and وَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ And I am the first amongst the Muslims. Now, so, uh, uh, and the, uh, something very much important for us to know is one is to correct the niyyah, to correct the intention. Now, that I am doing what I'm going to do for the sake of Allah. Number two, for that deed to be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should do according to the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. According to uh, the instructions giving, given by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For example, performing salah. I cannot perform salah the way I feel like. Now, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Sallu kama ra'aytumuni usalli. Pray and perform salah the way you have seen me performing salah. Establish salah the way you have seen me establishing salah. When it comes uh, 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 towards hajj, naam, uh, speaking about hajj, he said, Khudu anni manasikakum. Khudu anni manasikakum. Take from me your rituals of hajj. Naam. So anything we do, it has to be for Allah according to the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man amila amalan laysa alayhi amruna fahuwa raddun. Man amila amalan laysa alayhi amruna fahuwa raddun. Whosoever does any deed, any deed, huh, which it's not authenticated by us, it is not according to my teachings. It is not according to my sunnah. That deed will be rejected. Naam? Huh? And other scholars say, So that person will be rejected. Will be rejected. Why? Because he did not follow the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Naam? So speaking about... Uh, uh, benefits, some benefits of, uh, you know, uh, 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 sincerity, ikhlas. Number one is, your deeds will be accepted by Allah. If you have ikhlas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept from you. That zakah of yours will be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you give with sincerity, with ikhlas. Now, the tahajjud of yours will be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will not be spending sleepless nights for nothing if you do with ikhlas. Now, that hadith that you are teaching, that Quran that you are teaching, whatever you are doing, if you do with ikhlas, it will be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is one of the benefits of doing good deeds for the sake of Allah, uh, doing for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that it will be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine you, you come on the day of Qiyamah. Now the person comes on the day of Qiyamah. He is looking for his rewards. Now he is looking for rewards of his deeds. Uh, and he finds just scattered, scattered dust. Haba and manthura. Now scattered dust. There is no reward. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Go to those people that you are pleasing. And ask a reward from them. Go and get your reward from them. Now, we are not here in this dunya to please people. 
if you try to please people, people will be happy with you and tomorrow they'll be angry with you. You please a person today, you please a person tomorrow, one day you will be disappointed. Why? Because he will be angry with you. <coughs> and by pleasing, by doing things for pleasing people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes angry with us. He becomes angry with us. Now, so it's very much important that whatever we are, do, we are doing, we do to, make, to gain the pleasure of Allah. Uh, and the reward will come after that. Anything that we do to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, now it bring, brings the pleasure of Allah, it brings the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, and also, you know, anything that we do, or if we do our good deeds with ikhlas, with sincerity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us the tawfiq to wanting to do more. He will give us the divine gift of wanting to do more. No matter who says what. Now, you'll find people criticizing, criticizing you, pointing you with fingers. But if you are doing with ikhlas, you'll keep on moving, going forward. You'll keep on going forward. Now, so it motivates you. Ikhlas motivates you in order for you to keep on doing more and benefiting, you know, from the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the barakah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, so we, we have to check our niyyah before any deed. Is it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake or not? Now, so we're taking a short break, inshallah. We come back after this to speak about the dangers and the consequences of pleasing people and not pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. We are discussing uh, ikhlas, sincerity, to do for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To check our deeds, our intention. Uh, am I doing for the sake of Allah or am I doing for the sake of fame uh, and name? Uh, if a person gives so much, the amount of a, a mountain uh, for the sake of fame and, 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 and name, comes Qiyamah, he will get zero. He will find zero of his reward. He will not get anything from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we need to check our niyyah. So it is not allowed, it is prohibited now to do things for showing off. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a hadith now narrated by Abu Huraira and this hadith is hadith Qudsi. He says, Sami'atu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, I had Muslim, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, Qala Allah ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ana aghna shuraka'i ani shirk. Ana aghna ashuraka'i ani shirk. I am the one who is most nam, free from wanting of shirk. From wanting of shirk. Nam. And he said, Man amila amalan, man amila amalan ashraka fihi ma'i ghayri taraktuhu wa shirka. Nam. Rawahu Muslimun. Whosoever does any deed and he joins partners, he ascribes partners with me in that deed. Nam. Taraktuhu wa shirka. I will leave him. I will discard him. Nam. I will reject that person. Nam. In another hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna awwala nasi yuqza yawma al-qiyama alayhi rajulun ustushhida fa'utiya bihi fa'arrafahu ni'amatahu fa'arafaha. Nam. The first people who will be judged on the day of qiyama. First person is the person who died as a shaheed in the battlefield, the person who was killed in the battlefield, he will be brought on the day of Qiyamah. So the ni'mah of shahada, the ni'mah of being a martyr, will be brought in front of him. فَأَرَّفَهُ نعم. فَأَرَّفَهُ He will recognize this ni'mah. He will recognize this ni'mah. Nam قَالَ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask him, Fama amilta fiha nam. What was your intention? Huh? Why did you do this? Why did you get killed in the battlefield? So he will say, Qataltu fika hatta ustishhidtu. Allahu Akbar. He will say, I was killed, I was martyred, meaning I fought for your sake until I was killed, until I was made shaheed. He's saying this to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Kadhabta, you are lying. You are not truthful. You are not speaking the truth here. Naam. وَلَكِنَّكَ قَاتَلْتَ لِأَيُّ قَالَ جَرِيءٌ فَقَدْ قِيل You fought in order for the people to call you brave. Naam. لِأَيُّ قَالَ جَرِيءٌ فَقَدْ قِيل People did definitely call you a brave man. Huh? Mr. Muscle Man. You know, Allah Akbar. Huh? So the people called you by this name. So your intention was for the people to give you a name, to give you a title. Can you see my brothers and sisters? It is very, very dangerous that we do for the sake of name and fame, for the sake of pleasing people. Imagine the reward of shahada. Now, uh, to die is a shaheed. To die in the battlefield, you know, protecting the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's, it's very much rewarding. Before the blood of a shaheed touches the ground, all his sins are forgiven. All his sins are forgiven. And he will come on the day of Qiyamah. The blood is still coming out of his body. Now, to testify, to bear witness, you know, of his shahada. Now, so imagine he comes on the day of Qiyamah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask the shaheed, why did you fight? Why did you get killed? Say, no, I fought for your sake, ya Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, kathabta, you are not... Uh, speaking the truth, you are speaking lies. ولكن قاتلت ليقال جريء You have uh, fought, you fought uh, in order for the people to call you جريء no? to, call, to be called, you know, uh, 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 brave. Uh, Allahu Akbar. To be called a brave. وفقد قيل And the people did call you brave. ثم أمر به فصحب على وجهه حتى ألقي في النار. Then an angel will be brought. Uh, they will hold to hold to pull this man, you know, uh, from his face, and he will be thrown into the fire of Jahannam. Allahu Akbar. We need to check our intention. We need to check our niyyah. Why am I sitting here and share, you know, from the dars of the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Why am I performing salah? We need to ask ourselves. Uh, we need to ask ourselves, why? Because Qiyamah comes and we lose everything. Now, we come on the day of Qiyamah as losers. We do not want to lose. We want the pleasure of Allah, number one. Number two, we want to be in Jannah. We want to be in Jannah and enjoy forever and ever, inshallah. Now, the second person that will be uh, judged amongst the first people who will be judged on the day of Qiyamah will be, وَرَجْلٌ تَعَلَّمَ الْعِلْمَ وَعَلَّمَهُ قرأ القرآن فيأتي فيؤتى به فعرفه نعمه فعرفها The person who learned the knowledge of deen. Now, he learned, you know, the tafsir, the Quran, the ahadith, he learned fiqh, aqeedah. Now, so now he will come on the day of Qiyamah and this ni'ma of knowledge will be brought and he will recognize, Alhamdulillah, I used to teach people uh, the Quran. I used to teach people a hadith. I used to teach people fiqh. No? So he will recognize his ni'mah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask him, Why did you do this? Why did you learn and teach? No? Why did you learn and teach? He said, No, I have learned and taught for your sake, ya Allah. I have recited the Quran, you know, for your sake, ya Allah. No? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, will say, Kathabta, kathabta. Now, you have spoken lies. Walakin, but you have uh, learnt the, the knowledge, you have taught the knowledge, and you have recited the Quran. So people can call you alim, or people can call you qari'un. Now, people call you qari, qari fulan, qari fulan, qari muhammad. You recited the Quran with a, such a beautiful voice that people would even cry. Now people will start to follow you wherever you go uh, uh, for, for, for the recitation of the Quran. And whenever people would know that, no, Sheikh so-and-so is coming to our masjid, now people will fill up the masjid and that would make you happy. Huh? Would make you happy and start bragging about it. You know what I feel? I, I pulled the crowd. 
I pulled the crowd. You know, the masjid was so full when I was there. Allah Akbar. You should know that you are losing your rewards. You are losing. You become a loser. Comes Qiyama, you will find zero. You will get nothing by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No? So whenever we learn the knowledge of deen, we should learn for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No? We recite the Quran with such a beautiful voice, alhamdulillah. Even if people praise us, huh? people praise us, that praise should not uh, uh, make us to change our direction, to change our intention. It should always be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, so this man here, he will be brought on the day of Qiyamah. They will ask him, you know, uh, why did you learn the knowledge? I have learned for your pleasure. I have uh, recited the Quran for your pleasure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Kadabta. Naam, you are lying. Why? Because you have recited the Quran, liyuqala qari'un. So that people can lab, give you a title of qari. Naam, you have learned the knowledge of deen. So people can call you maulana, big sheikh, allama. Naam, huh? So whatever title people have uh, given to you and you accepted and you were bragging about it, you know, you were so proud about it. So you were showing off your knowledge. No? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call an angel, will call an angel uh, to hold this man, to hold this man with, uh, from his face uh, and pull him and throw him to the fire of Jahannam. No? And the third person, وَرَجُلٌ وَسَّعَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَعَطَاهُ مِنْ أَصْنَافِ الْمَالِ فَأُتِيَ بِهِ فَأَرَّفَهُ نِعَمَهُ فَعَرَفَهَا قَالَ فَمَا عَمِلْتَ فِيهَا قَالَ مَا تَرَكْتُ مِنْ سَبِيرٍ تُحِبُّ أَنْ يُنْفَقَ فِيهَا إِلَّا أَنْفَقَتُ فِيهَا لَكَ قَالَ كَذَبْتَ وَلَكِنَّكَ فَعَلْتَ لِيُقَالَ هُوَ جَوَادٌ فَقَدْ قِيل ثُمَّ أُمِرَ بِهِ فَصُحِبَ عَلَى وَجْهِهِ ثُمَّ أُلْقِيَ فِي النَّارِ رواه مسلم this hadith you find the book of Imam Muslim the a man that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving him a lot of wealth is giving him a lot of wealth Allahu Akbar no? He is wealthy. He built masajid. He built orphanages. Now, he opened boreholes for the people to benefit. Uh, and he would put his name there, Muhammad. Uh, uh, so, these kind of things, bragging, bragging for the wealth that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you. You know who built that masjid? I was the one who built the masjid. Alhamdulillah. You build a masjid, but change your intention. It should be for the sake of Allah, for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this man will be brought on the day of Qiyamah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring the ni'mah of wealth to him. He's going to recognize the ni'mah of wealth, which was given to him. Now, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask him, what did you do with your wealth? He will say, I spent in all, in all, Everything that you know needed me to spend, uh, whether it was for masajid, I spent my money in a building of masajid or repairing of masajid. I spent my money, you know, uh, 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 to feed the poor, to look after the orphans. No? Huh? But I did that for your sake, Ya Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, You are lying. No? Huh? You have done that you call a jawadun, so that people can call you generous. And def indeed, people did call you generous. You did not do for my sake. Huh? So my dear brothers and sisters, we have to be very much careful what we do. Is it for the sake of Allah, for the pleasure of Allah or not? May Allah SWT forgive us. May Allah SWT keep us on guidance. May Allah SWT make it such that we leave this dunya with iman until we meet again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.